What were your initial kind of takeaways from the scrimmage Saturday? Um, I mean, it was brief. Um, it's half practice, half scrimmage, so we weren't full, but it was good to see. I mean, all the guys got live reps. It was good to see, like, you know, our backs be able to run and not get tagged off on, and, you know, linemen being able to cut and just kind of moving the ball as opposed to having a set spot so we could push the tempo and just kind of get rolling and see because it's, a, I mean, it's all a little bit different live versus going versus um, like a regular scripted practice. So it was good to get out there and go live. I mean, we weren't trying to kill each other, but we were just trying to get a good look. So, but it was, it was definitely, it was a good first scrimmage. What's the, the challenge going against that, that defensive front now the way that Coach Bateman has it set up? Um, they bring they bring a lot of stuff. So, um, like I, I was joking around with Crawford, me and AC were roommates, and we've been going against each other for four years. I give him crap because pre-snap will be in front of me, and then when the ball snapped, he's not in front of me anymore. So, but they do a lot of movement. Um, they're good backer shooting gaps, uh, D linemen moving. They're just trying to disrupt stuff. So, I'm, I mean, you'll rarely get a clean shot on a guy, which is I think what he's trying to do. And I mean, it's it, it can be pretty hectic to handle sometimes, but it's a lot of different looks, a lot of different fronts. They'll stem from an odd to a four down, different looks, eagle fronts. All that stuff. So it's just a lot to pick up on the fly. So they're just trying to make it as hefty as he, he can for the opposing team. But for you guys up front, has is your communication different than it was a year ago? Or are there different guys communicating? And how is that challenge when you're facing a defense that's shifted around like that so much? Um, it's not too different. I mean, um, in this offense, more the communications on the center. As opposed to last year, we were all kind of yeah. full-line communication. But, um, I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. We just got a bunch of guys in some new spots. Sometimes they need a little help. So, we're, I mean, we're just trying to get it out because we're running, we're going quick. So it's just about kind of knowing what you got to do. And then if they stem into a different front or give you a different look, you got to be able to apply your rules and adjust on the fly. And that's the kind of the big communication things that we'll have. When you go up against the way the defense is now, do you think it actually is helping you guys get more entrenched in your new offense facing a defense that forces you to kind of adjust to the fly like that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's new offense. We're all still learning new rules, new plays, new blocking schemes, all that. So it's good when you got a defense that Coach Bateman's running where they're lining up in multiple fronts. You know, you're not seeing the same thing every single day. So it's like, you got to know all your rules for all different situations. So that way, if you do in the season when we come out, we play guys that are, you know, just coming out in an even front and they're just playing at base. It'll be pretty simple. But with all this, all the adjusting that it kind of forces you to do, it, help, it makes you kind of learn your rules inside and out, which well, is good. You know, with, with JJ's issue with his wrist, you've been getting a lot of work at center. How, what's been the breakdown for you centering guard so far this spring? Um, for me personally? Yeah. Um, I've been I've been taking all the reps um, with the blue group at center, um, and I mean I'm not I'm not opposed to it. Like I said, I, I mean versatility is always helpful. You can never have enough guys and know how to snap the ball. Um, it's still I still got to get comfortable doing some stuff. You know, like got to get a little bit more consistent with some my snaps. I had some poor snaps today that can't happen. But um, I mean, other than that, I mean it's similar to guard. You're still on the inside. It's just you got to think about snapping the ball first, which is just a little bit different. When when he's fully healthy, you anticipate going back to guard and Um, I I think I have I mean, it'll kinda just be wherever the chips fall, I guess, at that point. Um I haven't really had any extensive talks with Coach Searles about it or anything like that. I'm just kinda going where the team needs me right now. Um and in August if they or September if they need me at center I'll be at center. Um obviously you played four years at guard, so I'm a little bit more comfortable there, but I'm not opposed to playing center. All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it.